jag, jag ska hämta Stefan på labbet så uh, glöm inte att packa platsen åt oss. Okej. Okay. Mm. Mm. Jag ska det. How do you know about Badgley Mishka? I uh, was gonna give these to some deserving soul. So how about it? Friday night, the Rainbow Room? Sure. <laughs> I'd love to. Great. Great. Förresten så har Chrissy mailat mig. Jag ser verkligen fram emot att få träffa henne äntligen. Jag tror inte det är en så bra idé. So, so what? Are we gonna get over there and heckle Lindy or what? Beef on rye, pickles, mustard, bag of chips. You, you know what? Make them the low-fat kind. Got to watch my waistline for the campaign. You're here for lunch orders, right? Actually, I just got a call from the election committee. Yeah, yeah, right. They uh, want some eight by tins for my campaign posters. It was about the background check you authorized, Commissioner. Yeah, what about it? They had some questions. They want you to call ASAP. Yeah, I want to talk to you. No, now. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there.
It's like old school Britney. designer. It is a fashion industry gala event. Ooh. On the one hand, I definitely want to make a statement. this. Boston. This isn't exactly mind-blowing stuff. I mean, I was in the accident. I know what happened. What I want to know is why. Please report at the end. Cause of accident. Driver lost control of the wheel. Well, that's a lot of bull. That's it? That's all you've got? No, keep thinking. Are you sure about this, Patterson? Sure as shooting. The lab tech who went over your brother's course left his place of employment two days after putting in his report. Didn't give any notice. Supervisor says he hit the lottery, except the Florida Lottery Commission doesn't have any report of the guy bringing in a winning ticket. Which means somebody paid him off. I want to know who. Can you understand me? I don't care how much it costs. You find him. Jag skulle inte ha kommit hit utan att ringa först. Jag borde gå. Nej, men du är en del av familjen. Det är självklart att du ska komma in. Men du vill att jag ska hålla mig borta från Chrissy. Kan jag fråga varför? Nu är det så här att hon ser verkligen upp till dig. Och om jag ska vara ärlig så tycker inte jag du är en särskilt bra förebild. I just finished another test, and Stefan, my man, we are golden. That's great. I'm surprised you don't sound more enthused. What's wrong, Stefan? You 
You're so stupid. Pop. <laughs> hey, that's why you love me. <laughs> Come on, what's up with the attitude lately? I don't know. Oh, you can tell me. Hey, I'm not gonna be one of those stupid guys who think you're PMSing or something. You can always talk to me. It's nothing. I'm just I'm actually kind of stupid lately, you know? School's weird. I don't know. Am I making any sense? No. But it's all right. Anyway, um... Mm -hmm. I'm... Say it. I'm sorry, okay? Happy? <sighs> well, I don't know. I mean... Punishment should fit the crime. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay. See ya. <laughs> Don't screw with me, Roberto. And don't tell me you didn't put a bug up somebody's ass in that freaking election committee. Could you be a little more specific? The background check? Ring a bell? I imagine that's standard procedure for anyone who won't for public office. Look, don't try and strong on me. I made a simple proposition to your commissioner and you spit in my face. Like most greedy men, you made the mistake of thinking you were invincible. Jack Hamilton did the same thing, and where did he get him? Jack Hamilton's brain was stuck in his fly. I don't have that problem. A man's appetite can be a dangerous weapon when turned against him. But you have first-hand experience with that, don't you, Commissioner? Jack Hamilton. Now all the pieces are starting to fall into place. I should have known you were behind this renewed interest in the late senator. I have more pressing concerns. I have a business to attend to which requires teamwork and cooperation. Jack Hamilton understood this. All the way to his watery grave, eh, amigo? As I said, when a man gets greedy, his friends can no longer save him from himself. Well, I don't intend to have that problem. You see, I have a whole deck of cards that I haven't played yet. And it's stacked against you. Put a muscle on your pit bull. I'm not Jack Hamilton. Nora and the children were the reason I decided to step back on Melania. I figured as much. I've given them so little the last few years, I thought maybe I could make it up somehow. <laughs> but I was wrong. Yeah, I know that now. Are you giving up pretty easily? I don't know if I know how to win that fight. You noticed Nora's big redecorating project at the house? <laughs> yeah. It's a chick thing. Well, it's also a sign that things aren't right between us. She's trying to tell me for a long time. But I've been too busy to listen. <laughs> so now she's tearing everything off the walls. Got your attention? I just hope it's not too late. I don't know if we can go back where we were. I don't know if that place still exists. You said uh, you finished the last test. Yeah, it confirmed the data from the previous trials. We can go full speed ahead. Good. Stefan? Maybe you should take some time off. Spend it with Nora. I can hold things down here. An hour ago, I would have jumped at your offer. So what's changed? Did you and Nora have another argument? No, no, nothing like that. Nora is picking me up for Alex's contest later. <laughs> the big grab for fame and fortune. He must be psyched. Oh, he's so excited. And uh, I promise to be there with him. When I think of all the time I've promised that. Then don't look back. Anyway, this time he won't be disappointed. You are mine, you are mine. Woo! Och vinnaren är den här super.
superläckra, begåvade, mm. talangfulla. Mer. Tack, mer. Alex Eriksson, kom igen nu. Bakåt och tacka. Tack så mycket. Tack. Det var det här. <laughs> Vilket självförtroende. Om jag ska vara ärlig så håller jag på att pissa på med nervositet. Alltså. Några djupa andetag. Sluta dricka kaffe. Då fixar det sig. Jag hade faktiskt tänkt att jag skulle ta och springa ett par runt parken för att slappna av lite grann. Bra idé. Mm. Jag låter inte henne lägga upp hela turnéplanen nu bara. Vi ses sen, Chris. Jag slår mig ner. Det är ett fritt land. Jag tar det som ett ja. Du är snygg ikväll. Du behöver verkligen inte. Nej, jag vet att du inte behöver det, men det är sant. Du, jag ville prata med dig om det som hände igår. Att du slängde ut mig, menar du? Det handlar inte om dig. Du är en jättesnygg, begåvad, attraktiv tjej. Men du är kåt på min morsa, jag fattar det. Jag respekterar Nora mer än jag respekterar någon annan kvinna i mitt liv. Och jag vet att du skulle kunna se henne Snälla! Samma sätt. Min mamma var otrogen mot min pappa. Det kanske inte du visste. Riktigt så svartligt, Erik. Jag förstår att du är arg. Jag förstår varför du är Nej, du fattar inte ett skit. Du fattar ingenting. Okej. Okay. Vill du ha någon att skylla på så skyll på mig. Men snälla, Nils. Ni två verkar tro att ni har något så extremt fint mellan er. Men det har ni inte. Det är inte speciellt. Ni är två egotippade människor som inte bryr om vem ni sårar. Nora har gjort slut. Hon tänkte satsa på äktenskapet. Nu har du alltså rätt att tycka vad du vill. Men jag vill att du ska veta det att hon har skrivit till mig. Och berättat att hon är dålig tonor och att inte någon förstår henne. Jag vill inte att hon ska bli modell som du. Är det så svårt att förstå? Jag vet att ditt ansikte har varit på varenda tidningsomslag runt om i världen, men har det gjort dig lycklig? Är du lycklig? Var ärlig. Det är inget liv jag vill att min dotter ska leva. Ooh, remember the drill? Hello? Miss Hamilton, Crystal Tate here. Look, Miss Tate, I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't hang up. Um, not if you're really interested in finding out the truth about your father's death. What are you talking about? Well, Miss Hamilton, I anything I say, it's not well meant to be hurtful. I'm a journalist, and I've been doing a lot of legwork, and uh, I've talked to a bunch of people who knew your dad. What people? Well, Macy Devon, for starters. Macy? What did he have to say? Well, it was more of what he didn't say. I mean, uh, there's no love lost between him and his stepfather. Go on. Well, from what I've been able to put together, it, it looks like Martin Devon has a real mean streak, you know, when people cross him. No kidding. The last thing I remember was him arguing with my father the night of the plane crash. He basically threatened my dad. Mm, are you sure about that, Miss Hamilton? Of course. I was there. Everything. Oh, wow. So it's really hot. And I know all these are for the crew, but do you think that maybe, just maybe you could spare a couple for me? And my friend? Babe. Long time no see. Who's that guy? Maybe we should find out. Definitely. Kind of letting the cat out of the bag on this one. But somebody was asking about you. Somebody I think you're gonna to wanna to talk to. Who? Charlotta. She's in Stockholm? You met her? Uh, yes and no. Yes, she's in town, and no, I just talked to her on the phone. I can't believe she's here. 
just act surprised when she calls? I'm gonna go uh, change, get something to eat. You gonna be here when I get back? Uh, probably not. Nora's picking me up. All right, well, give Alex my best and tell that sister of yours not to leave town without meeting me. You and Charlotta. Somehow, I don't think she's your type. Oh, hey, I can slump. Just kidding. Have a good night. You too. Stefan Eriksson? Hallo. Hallo. I'll ask straight out, Mr. Rendon. Thank you. Do you think Martin could have had anything to do with Jack Hamilton's death. <clears throat> okay, so can I take uh, your silence as consent? Can I show you to the door, Miss Tate? Hey, where's the fire? What? Where are you going? Home. But we have English class in like five I'm minutes. I'm cutting. But look, I have a family emergency, OK? I'll call you later. What family? What will you have actually? A little understanding, a little kärlek. A little understanding. Yeah, something, in any case. You have a relationship with another man. And you want to have a little more understanding. Jag ska bara säga, nej men det är okej okay, Nora. Då ska du gråta lite skvätt och sen så är allting glömt. Men det är inte så enkelt. Jag förlåter dig inte. För jag kan inte förlåta dig. 